A number of years ago, uh, my son uh, passed away from uh, opioid overdose, and uh, we thought that uh, the best way uh, to, when we run the tournament is to uh, uh, generate some funds that would help uh, first responders. So we've been doing this for uh, last three years, three, four years. Unfortunately, during uh, the COVID ep epidemic, we couldn't do it. Uh, but we've been donating to the fire department uh, to help first responders, whether it's training or uh, uh, other aspects of their job that may be useful. When uh, Angelo first approached us, we, uh, he wanted to um, donate and said, you guys purchase or spend the money however you wish. So instead of actually uh, uh, putting the money back into, say, the general reserves, we thought, well, let, it's just going to get watered down, so let's figure out what we can do with this. So we have a peer support team and we're constantly wanting to uh, get specialty training for our, our members that are part of the peer support team. So we have started our, a separate bank account for that money coming in from Angelo and we're sending members away to get special training uh, so they can assist our members in, you know, uh, with mental health issues or, uh, you know, uh, any, any, anything that a peer support uh, member uh, is capable of doing. We, we just want that uh, specialty training for them. It's, it's to help them. Uh, I mean, they're normally the first people at, at uh, uh, an, uh, you know, a, a death situation. And, you know, the more training they get, the more opportunities they get to, to uh, what I say is, the more opportunity for training, it, w it would help the whole community. In our particular uh, Huntsville Lake of Berries area, we have responded to a number of uh, medical calls uh, for uh, drug overdoses. Uh, so it is, it's increasing. It has increased over the uh, last couple of years. So it's, uh, it's a concern. It's a big concern and I applaud Angelo for what he's, uh, what he's trying to do.